Megan Navarro, Bloody Disgusting. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> yes. You guys have been great to us over the years. Um, we're obviously huge fans of the gore. Um, and speaking of, I mean, Saw 10 is a monumental achievement for any horror franchise. And you guys have essentially launched the franchise. So I was curious what your core tenants were coming into this. Like what you felt had to be represented in Saw 10. We, we wanted to make a story. We, we, we knew we wanted to go back in time. All right, we knew we wanted more of John Kramer. We alive. knew we wanted Alive. We knew we wanted Shawnee Smith in the film. How do we bring her into the movie in a smart way that she's not just super, superfluous to the action? And we came up with what we thought was a great idea, the writers did, of, of how to bring her back and reveal her to the audience as a surprise. And we also, one other thing is we wanted to make this because it's 20 years. There's new audience members all the time, new, new generations. So we tried to make a movie that if you'd never seen another Saw movie, you could be able to see the beginning. You see John Kramer come, coming out of an MRI. You see John Kramer meeting with a doctor and taking his journey through that even if you'd never seen another Saw movie, you would understand this movie. And that was Kevin Groider really, really pounded that on this movie. We, knew we, needed, we needed the audience to understand and like John Kramer before he became Jigsaw and we kind of needed to do it in a short window of time so that it could be a standalone movie. And people could come see this movie having never seen any other Saw movie and go, this movie's really cool. At least we think so. Yeah. Well, I know, it is, it is yeah. very cool. And I would obviously, being with Bloody Disgusting, be remiss to not mention the traps. So what, what is the, do you have input on the traps yeah. at yeah, all? Yeah, of course, what, we, what, 100%. So how does that work? Are you like, this is what I would like to see as a mm -hmm. fan or? So we'll first, uh, uh, you do the trap. So first thing we do is we work on the script. Mm -hmm. and we literally just have insert trap. We know something's gonna happen and we don't screw around with the traps at all. Okay. We try to get the logic, try to get the flow, try to get the story right. And then we've had unbelievable production designers. This one with Anthony Stavely, that David Hackle did five movies and we let them, and we've actually, we actually have traps that we, Maybe we're going to use in Saw 3, we end up using in Saw 5 because they don't quite fit. So we kind of keep a slight little folder with some traps, but it's, it's director, it's Mark and I, it's Josh and Pete writers, production, production designer. designers. Anthony and Stavely came up with, with the, as our production designer, came up with a bunch of these traps. Oh my gosh. And he, he did, he crushed it. <laughs> yeah, for his uh, first Saw movie, he killed it. Yes. It is so good. Sorry, yeah. I have a hair in my mouth. Um, yeah. But what... Is there ever like a pullback because it's so bloody, especially when you're introducing fans? Like as, as a long-term fan, I love this, but there were some people in the audience yesterday, they were like cringing. So I'm curious you if you're to, like, no, you push the envelope. This is yeah, we don't, we've never pulled back. We, we push the envelope. And I'm not trying to be cool, but we actually have never, the only governor we have on us is the MPA and they, they MPA now, and uh, they've been great. I mean, they've been very honest with us. They talk to us. Like they talk about what they like, what they don't like, who they, they just walk us through the pro, their process. And once you've done this, I've done a kind of I'm the liaison with the MPA. I've done ten of them, so you get a shorthand with them and understand what they will let you do and not. We, we shoot a whole bunch more, and then we pull back. So if Kevin ever does his director's cut, I don't even know if I could watch it. All right, I mean, it's Kevin's kind of, the, yeah. Kevin's the <laughs> one. <laughs> Kevin's the one that's. <laughs> Constantly, remember, pushing he's the, the one that's he's edited or directed every yeah. film. Oh it's like Kevin, he would just bend somebody's finger like to hear. He goes, "No, it has to go all the way." And back. then he has sound design, and, and you got to hear snap. the snap of the finger when the joint pops or, or whatever like, that oh, is. Is it ligament? I don't know. Yeah. We definitely need the director's cut. Thank you so much for your time. <laughs> thank you. It was a oh, pleasure. Thank you.